Imagine a developer writing down each command step by step to automate a test scenario. That could be a very time consuming activity. Fortunately, a record and playback approach is possible in GX Test. By using a Chrome extension tool, you can manually perform actions in your application using the browser, while GX Test will capture some of them as a command. After recording, you can take several actions to see the results of your recording, like replaying all the recording steps and editing the comments. The record and playback feature helps to avoid writing command by command manually. So typically, when you need to automate a workflow, instead of writing manually the test steps that you need, you can just execute the real flow using the browser, while this Chrome extension will record the steps for you. After recording the test from the browser, you can export the test case into a Genexus UI test object. This Chrome extension with recording, editing, and playback capabilities is called GX Test Recorder. This tool can be downloaded from Google Chrome Web Store. Now, let's take a closer look at different sections of the recorded. GX Test Recorded has four sections, Main Toolbar, Test Case Steps, Common Editor, and Log Reference. Let's start with the Main Toolbar. The main toolbar contains record and playback buttons. You can start and stop recording automation tests using the record button. Note that the same button is used to begin and end a recording session. You could pause, execute and stop the current text execution with the pause, play and stop button respectively. The download button allows you to download the UI test case code for running from the Genexus ID. Besides, you can load and back up a recorded session in a portable format, HTML, with the load and backup button. Finally, you have the help button that opens the online documentation. As mentioned, when recording, the tool will be captured in adding different commands to your test. This section will have an ordered list of commands previously recorded where you can add, delete, copy and paste them using shortcuts, drag and drop or right click. As you can see, each command should have a defined target and value parameters. Let's take a look. Anytime you select a command, which is a test step, the command editor panel will allow you to modify its parameters, target and value. The target is usually, in the majority of the commands, the locator of an HTML element. Locators are the way to specify the tool about how to find an element in the current web page, typically a Genexus control in a web panel. GX Test Recorder provides you a list with different ways to selecting the right target for each command, but you can modify this as you want, depending on which strategy works better. While this is something you will learn in practice, GX Test will try to select the best target by default. In the same way, some comments will need a value parameter to be valid, in this case the comment type, so you can also change this value using the comment editor. Let's continue with the log reference panel. The console log viewer shows the real-time report log of the test execution. All execution error message, information message and execution progress is displayed here. The reference tab displays documentation about selected comment. It helps users to understand the common purpose and the number of parameters it has. In this demo, we will show you how easy it is to record the previous test case we code in the UI object. Let's start by pressing the record button. The first action we want is to open the Google homepage. After that, we will check that Google page was actually open by checking that the page title is Google. We can do this by right-clicking on the web page, selecting the GX test item and choosing a search title. Finally, we just want to stop the recording by pressing the stop record button again. Please note that while you are playing some actions in the browser, GX test recorder will capture the most relevant ones and will add those in a test comment. The next step is to reply these actions using the recorder, just to check if all comments are doing what we want.
It is important to consider that GX Test Recorder is not intended to be used for running tests, but only for generating the basic layout of a test flow with different steps in GNEXUS language. Thus, next step is to download the test code using the download button. Once you pass the code on GNEXUS, you can modify it as you want, adding more commands, modifying test data, including for statement to get different iterations, and to code what is important steps checks for your test scenario. This means that if you're not a GNEXUS developer, you will need to work with a developer to co-design the test. In this case, we will be just adding a simple pause of 5 seconds and running the test from the ID. In the next video, let's record a test case in a query business application.